What's up YouTube, Kenny M. Cichlids here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I do to get ready for an auction. Tomorrow is our auction here in Michigan with our Cichlid Club. I got about 20 bags to pack tonight for the auction, so I'm gonna show you my prep process and maybe walk you through me bagging a couple of bags and then I'll give you a rundown of the auction tomorrow. So let's go check it out. All right, so as I said, tomorrow's our auction at Michigan Cichlid Association auction. Um, if you pre-register, they send us out our seller auction forms, our letters. I registered for 20 bags. So I have color coded, so I'll pack my fish, fill out my seller sheet, Z1 to however many bags, no more than 20, because that's what I registered for. And then I will uh, get them ready and restore them in these boxes to styros for tonight. And we'll get up in the morning and leave. But one thing I also did is I got a label writer 450 now, so I also made labels for what will be in the bag with my the species, how quantity, they on sexed. Also have some other ones down here for some fry. So these all also go in the bag so that way I don't have to worry about writing on the bags with markers anymore. And if people try to read my handwriting, especially the readers that are reading the fish off as they go through the auction, I don't want them to struggle to read my handwriting. So this will be a much better way for bagging fish. So stay tuned and come come along with me to the auction. All right, so as I mentioned, tomorrow's the Michigan Cichlid Association auction. We're gonna go ahead and pack some Placidochromus electra behind me right now, some deep water haps. So I'll catch them and show you how I bag them. Couple specimen containers here, a small one and a large one. The smaller one's great for uh, when you want to get fish out of it, get water out of a tank. So we're gonna go ahead and fill up a small and a large container. We're gonna get these guys out of the tank. So let's go. Got our handy dandy nuts. So let's see what we can do. We're gonna, the way I bag a lot of my fries, I bag them six per bag, so we're gonna get 12 out of here. So it's easy when you have a lot of fish in the tank. So we wanna, also what I do is, there's some different sizes in there, so I'll pick through and try to get some of the bigger ones out first. It takes me a minute to sort through a net full of fish, so to catch the bigger ones. Because auction rules, they at least gotta be an inch if they're fry, so you gotta make sure they're they're big enough to, to meet the rules. So we'll go in for another scoop and see what we come up with. So here we got. Uh, we got six in here, so that'll be the first bag, and then we'll get six more. And then we'll go over and bag them up. So there's four so far, so now we just need two, uh, two more bigger ones, kind of find out where they're hiding. Them. Alright, so there we got two bags of deep water hats. So here's the other uh, the other six. So let's walk over and bag these guys up. Alright, as I mentioned, now we'll bag up the deep water hats. So I use square bottom bags. I get them from clearbags.com. As I've also mentioned in my shipping video, I have one quarter box size, one six box size, and one eighth box size. So since we're just packing some small fry, we'll use the smallest bag. We'll use one eighth bag. So let's grab a couple. Here we have our one eight 
size bag. I have them in totes um, and labeled so they're organized as far as what sizes and what bag or bin. So we're gonna go ahead and take six of our deep water haps and we're gonna go ahead and dump them in the bag. And then there we got them in the bag. That should be enough water. Um, as I mentioned in my shipping video, when you're packing fish, air is more important than water. They just gotta have enough to stay wet. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some chemicals in here. All right, so the chemicals I'm gonna add in this bag are a half cap of Amquil. It's an ammonia remover. I always do that just to be safe. So put a little bit in the bag. Then we're gonna use some cordon fish protector here um, as well. So again, just a little bit less than half a cap since it's a small bag. So we'll dump it in here. So I put that, those two chemicals in every bag, whether they're auction fish or I'm shipping them. And now we're going to, we'll, we'll put them in some oxygen and we'll tie them up and label the bag. So I'll get my 20 cc oxygen bottle that I have. And, uh, we're gonna air them up. See this process here. There's my oxygen bottle. Here we have the bag of fish. So we're gonna go ahead and put some air in it, tie it up. All right, so there we have the air in the bag. We're gonna give it some twists to uh, just to ensure it's tight. And then we'll fold over the, the end of it. And then we're gonna put our rubber band on. A couple of times, wrapping it around. I generally don't double bag fry for the auction. I will double bag them if I'm shipping them. And I also double bag some of the bigger adults or juveniles depending on uh, the fish, but usually fry, I don't have to worry about them uh, puncturing holes in the bag, so I don't double bag those guys. So this should be good enough. So, all right, the box is continuing so far. We got one box done, which is eight bags. A couple bags of Didychromus Kiwinki, a couple bags of Placidochromus Electra Deep Water Haps, a bag of Alonicara Jacob Fryber Guy, a bag of Santa Carmel's Friday, Electric Blue Ali, and a couple other species that are in there. We got probably four bags or four more boxes to fill tonight. Um, we got a pair of uh, Ultra Lamper Logos F1 Black Congo Calvus to pack. We have some three and a half inch Dinamochromus Kiwingis to pack. A couple three and a half inch male Dinamochromus uh, Livestoni. Also some Phoenichylus Tanzanian Star Sapphires to pack. So we're gonna to continue to pack and tomorrow we'll show you the auction. All right, so we're up here at the, the hall for the Michigan Cichlid Association auction. People are starting to get checked in if they're gonna run bidder cards, people sitting around waiting for the auction to start. People still getting checked in for bags. Looks like it's gonna be a decent auction. There's quite a few bags over here so far. It's still, still about a half hour before it starts, so. Probably a good 300, 400 bags, I don't know, maybe more. We'll see what today turns out to be, see if there's anything good that we need to take home to, uh, to put in our tank. So, I'll yeah, show you close up some fish once we can uh, start looking at them. Check out some fish at the tables and see what we got. So, and up and up Start on a buck. One, two, two dollars, three dollars. Three, four, four dollars in for five dollars. Five, six, six dollars in for seven dollars. Placos here, Calico Placos, Super Pros, Blue Neons. Why 14 is the newbies petite. It's a four drop plant. There's a whole bunch in there you can study. Angel fish. Petite. BC Tons there. Seven dollars for a box. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve thousand for thirteen. So twelve bucks. 
Next up is Y10. It's a bag full of Anubius Meta. There you go. What do we got there? Nice bag of Anubius. So I got a six dollars. Mr. Grandma's, there you go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve over here. Twelve over here. Twelve over here. Twelve over here. Zero male there. Eighty-three. Marble convict. Very, very nice looking pair of marble convicts. Nice pair of marble convicts. Four bucks. Marble convicts. Four bucks. This is back here. Three dollars. Let's see what we got. Three dollars looking for four. Three looking for four. Trophies. Four in the back, five. Male trophies, probably. Five over for six, marble convicts. Five dollars for six. Male trophies. Sold five. All right, next up is uh, E7. Wait, I need to read the tag. Buckles there. It is a male, wild caught, motor frontosa. And it's uh, pretty much takes up the whole width of the bucket. It's got a nice hump on its head. Contrary to what Bob says, it's not it's so just cat litter. What's that? Yeah, probably. Close to that. Ten for sure. Ten of these over front. Wild cut. We have to look at getting these. Never had trophy up, so we'll see. Over front. Start out at uh, $30. $20 for that. Next up is Y10. It's a so this really helps if you're bagging fry and you put pictures on your bags if you're turning so into auction. So people know what they look like when they get to be adults. Next up is a silver platinum angel. This thing is gorgeous. It's got some blue tint to it. Very, very nice looking uh, adult angel fish. F6. So we got around the corner here. Nice angel fish. So you want to start it off? Eight dollars. Six. It's Trophius. Kande Morai. One male fish. Trophius and Kande. So about ten dollars. Trophius and Kande. Rough this. Most of the chromos white lips. Uh, nice size white lips there. Nice size. There's a dirty mail on there showing. Start out at ten dollars. There's some hyper scissors buckles here. Ten dollars looking for twelve dollars. Ten dollars looking for twelve. Twelve is the back. Twelve looking for fourteen. There's a lot of options around here. Fourteen looking for sixteen. Oh yeah, here we have spawning pair of jack boots. Twenty. Big old jack boots in there. Twenty looking for twenty-two. Twenty-eight for twenty-two. So twenty bucks. Item number X is labeled five black pellets. They're a good size. What about them? Yeah, I think they're all black pellets. I'm no expert. They're nice. Black pellets. Black pellets, five of them in the back. Start out at $20. 20, 22, 24, 26. 28, 30, 32, 32 over 34, 34, 36, 36 over 38, 36 over 40, 42, 42 over 43, 43 over 44, 44 over 45, 45 over 46, 46 over 47, 47 over 48, 48 over 49, 49 over 50, 50 over 6 rusty nice, uh, group of trophies here. 6 rusty see these, uh, you see six people put groups of trophies in auctions too. Seven, so it's a nice group. 10, 12, Signal 14, as well. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, Patrick Cole, uh, 30, 30, 34, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 38 number 40, 38 number 40. So 38. Priority uh, Malawi trout potential mail, so we'll see what they go for. <laughs> Why you get, you get 
so should be coming up here in a second. Nice and out of $10. Eight. We'll see what the, the trouble is for. I said, you Hopefully guys it should be next to us. Seven. 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 Seven out of ten dollars. Here. Ten dollars over twelve dollars. Ten dollars. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Twenty-six over twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Thirty. Thirty-two. Thirty-four. Thirty-four over thirty-six. Thirty-four over thirty-six. So thirty-four. Got 34 bucks. Good deal. All right, so it's about after one. Auction's still going. They went through a couple colors. They're on the blue now. They've already went through green. All right, at least be here another couple hours. Still a decent crowd. So if you have auctions by your local club, go well, make sure you go out and support them. Um, you can get some good deals and also get uh, find some oddball fish sometimes. So or just make connections with other people and, 14, 13, and share ideas. Twice, it's always a great time to uh, talk fish if you're out there. So I got a couple of fish, so I'll show you when I get home. Let's get them settled uh, and come back and show you once I get them in the tanks. All right, from the, from the auction yesterday, like I said, I got a pair of mustaches. There's the males back in there. You can kind of see his tail. I come around here. See him a little bit, face a little bit there. The female's down in this shell right here, or this cave. So we'll see how these guys acclimate. Hopefully they can, I'll be able to breed them. I've been wanting to work with this fish for a while. So I was happy when uh, somebody in the club was selling a proven pair. So we'll see what happens. So I got uh, just some cichlid huts there with some tufa rock. I got a cichlid cave over there and some more uh, cichlid huts here covered by some tufa rock. So we'll see what, see what happens with this group auction with some uh, rainbow dragon guppies. Well, these guys are in a 20 long. I had guppies before, didn't do too well with them, so we'll see what these guys turn out to be. Some nice looking specimens already in there. You now they don't get to be too big, so we'll see what happens. Let's see if we can breed them for a little while. And the last pickup was a male Champsochromus cerealis, which I won't show you because I don't want to show you the group that I just got in, but I will show you that male a little bit later in another video. So. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell to, to be notified when I upload videos and stay tuned for the next one.